Hey guys, Thunder here uh, with another video. Uh, it's another video. I don't know what to say. Uh, no full gameplay today. Today we're gonna be making a. Uh, we're gonna be ranking all the MC movies uh, and putting them in tiers. This is the official Thundershot Marvel movie tier list. Uh, I think what we start out with here. I think honestly, what we should do the quadrant view. Oh, I don't like that tier list view. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to start from the first movie and make our way to, I think, Endgame might be on here. If it's not, we'll deal with that later. But it's probably on here somewhere. Okay, so Hulk. Now, Incredible Hulk was a good movie, but I want to consider it one of the best. Maybe, a, I think it's a solid C tier, right? And this is not going to be in order at all. Um... Okay, what was next? Iron Man, right? Iron Man 1, Iron Man... Yep. Iron Man was arguably one of the best ones in the entire franchise, so... We'll give that a solid S tier. Okay, it's an S tier movie, okay? It's my first MC movie. I really liked it. Uh, I think honestly think it's one of the best in the entire series, and it still holds up 12 years later. I think it is now. Right, yeah, 12 years. Okay, then it would have been. I'm going now. I think the movie's released. I forgot the actual release date, so don't get mad at me. Comments if I'm wrong. Iron Man two, it was good, but I feel like it was missing some stuff and definitely did not have the same. Uh, ah, uh, the first one did, but it's not bad. I would give it like a B tier. And Iron Man three, I honestly think is a solid C tier. It wasn't that good, in my opinion. <coughs> uh, it just missed a whole lot. Like, okay. When he gets deducted by the Ten Rings, but then Mandarin isn't actually... Like, the entire storyline where Mandarin isn't Mandarin, that could have been significantly better if they just made him an actual Mandarin. You know, an actual villain to Iron Man instead of this like pseudo I'm an actor whole thing it was so annoying right like Iron Man 1 amazing villain right I mean Stone is just a great villain and played by Jeff Bridges a great actor I think it was Jeff Bridges right yeah great actor right it was an amazing movie I set a whole universe up Iron Man 2 alright villain and then we introduced uh, War Machine and uh, then we got Don Cheadle in the MCU. So yeah, it was pretty good. Um, but Iron Man 3, it's just, it tried to do too many things at once. Right? It was trying to, like, like be, like, a movie it shouldn't have been. It, like, it should have been more uh, Iron Man-y instead of, like, this whole kind of felt like a different Iron Man movie. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of it. Uh, then we move on to let's do the Captain America series next. So Captain America, uh, First Avenger, where is that one? First Avenger, that's an A tier. It's a great movie. Uh, it's 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 also nice because it's as long as you ignore the end credit scene, it's its own movie, right? It's in its own right. It's a great movie. You don't even have to like know too much about it. The whole series because it's just a great individual movie that doesn't have to rely on other things that's what made the iron man movies great uh it didn't have to rely on other things such as uh some other movies in here they kind of had to rely on different movies and you needed to watch those to understand this right so it was just a great solo movie this is the only reason i'm not giving an s because there was like some some parts where it's like felt kind of long uh, great movie though, but I don't think it's an S tier movie, right? Uh, and then we have Captain America. I think it was Winter Soldier was next, right? Because Captain America Winter Soldier is in Civil War. Captain America Winter Soldier. I am about to do what I think is my most controversial hot take in the MCU. I'm putting Captain America Winter Soldier at D tier. I think it's one of the worst movies in the MCU. I don't enjoy it at all. I've never enjoyed watching it. It sets up a whole storyline that they just kind of ignore for the rest of the series, right? 
Uh, and it just, uh, it's not good. Captain America Winter Soldier is arguably, in my opinion, one of the worst MC movies ever made. I did not like it. Just because it introduces Bucky, people go wild about it. But a single character doesn't make a movie. The whole storyline makes a movie. And the storyline's trash. Right? Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a fucking D-tier movie in the MCU. It's one. Of, it's not enjoyable for me at all. Uh, that's it, I guess. This is facts. But then Captain America's War, which let me try to find it. That's uh, I th that's uh, I say that's an A tier, right? It was it felt more like an Avengers film, which is why I think I rate it so highly because all the Avengers films are so good. Uh, but oh, Civil War just it was good. It introduced Spider Man and stuff like that, and we got more Ant Man in it. Uh, it was fun. It was a fun little movie, enjoyable, not perfect. Could have, uh, I think they could have rebranded it to literally Avengers and still had the same impact, right? Because it felt like an Avengers film. Uh, but you know, Captain America, it was a good movie, right? I think it's the best in the Captain America franchise, right? Much better than Winter Soldier. Uh, that's it. That's just my straight up opinion. I think it's that good, right? You get cool, some cool, uh, uh, fight scenes and a lot of comic book homages such as uh captain america straight up i think the one shot where captain america is like blocking the thing from tony and it's like <laughs> yeah that's a straight up pull from a comic book same with uh ant-man on hawkeye's arrow straight up from a comic book so it's very i think i'm a little biased because i've read all these comics growing up and so, like, I just enjoy them, if you know what I mean. So, I guess it's kind of a rare reason I put it there and stuff. So, okay, was, I think Thor. I think Thor is the next one. Thor, the first one. Mm, Thor, the first one's hard to put for me because I really enjoy it, but not too much. I think, I think I put it in B tier. The reason I put it in B tier is because introduce a cool character. It had some funny bits in it. It had a decent storyline, uh, which set up different another storyline for Dark, Thor: The Dark World. Uh, I would arguably think it's this is appropriate. Uh, it's like good, but not. It's like a slightly above average film, in my opinion, but not like super good, right? But you know, it's enjoyable. Uh, and I'd say it's more enjoyable than these, so I just gonna put it above that one, right? Then Thor: The Dark World. Uh, I didn't see much of this, I uh, but I know the comic book storylines is based on of uh, based off of. Um, I'm gonna put it in C tier because I enjoyed watching it, but not super enjoyable, right? I had the same amount of enjoyment levels of these three films together. Uh, it was good, but not super good. It's kind of like an average film, you know, CGI fest type of thing. Not much of a deep storyline, but uh, yeah. And then we move on to Thor Ragnarok, straight up S tier movie. It's it's arguably one of the best movies in the MCU. I heavily enjoy it. There's like not a second I'm not like laughing. I'm like, oh my, oh oh my god. Like when Hela, there is sort of a <laughs> with uh, Mjolnir. And, you know, then we get the storyline of Thor having nothing Mjolnir and having his powers, you know. We get to see Thor more humanized, which is kind of what a lot of people wanted. Uh, so, it's kind of why I put it S tier. I mean, it's a, such a good movie. And uh, sorry if I butchered his name. It's Takiki Watiti. I probably botched that to fucking hell, but great film. And it's so funny. It's mostly improv. You can see Chris Hemsworth. Uh, more of a comedy role, which he's really good in. Uh, we see Loki, R.I.P. Uh, it's just such a great film, and Jeff Goldblum also like this. Such it's such a good movie, right? The enjoyment levels are so high in that it was amazing. In my opinion, it was one of the best Marvel movies ever made. Okay, and then I think we go on to Ant Man next, right? I'm just doing all the individual, I'm just doing all the individual movies first, so I can uh, move on. 
and do all the group movies later, except for Captain America Civil War, just because it's a Captain America movie, quote unquote. Ant Man, first one. Uh, put it A tier, simply for the fact that it's enjoyable, but I think I would have enjoyed a deeper plot line past um, the whole, uh, what's it, Bumblebee or some shit like that? I forgot the villain's name. Uh, Yellow Jacket, right? Yellow Jacket. Uh, it was good. I wouldn't rate it the best in the game. I'm best in the MCU, but it's a good, enjoyable movie. Uh, you know, then Ant-Man and the Wasp, same thing. Uh, the only issue I have with Ant-Man and the Wasp is you had to have seen Civil War to understand the basis for that movie, right? Uh, like, he's not there, he's not present, he's in lockdown, right? He's out of house arrest and all that, but you wouldn't know that if you just saw that movie because there's no precursor to it and Captain America Civil War is a precursor to that so I think it's kind of bad in that in my opinion because of that but it's still a really enjoyable movie right same comedy I mean Paul Rudd's known for his comedy from like Hot Wet American Summer and all that so that's kind of why I put in the A tier movie uh you know it could be better but it's fine for what it's fine for what it is and what it does right it's a comedy movie not it's kind of like a summer comedy action movie right that's kind of what ant-man is and that's fine it doesn't need to be more than that and i heavily enjoy watching the movies but i don't think it's better i don't think it's as good as or regronach right but it's better than like thor the dark world and iron man 2 right and then i'm just gonna do captain marvel real quick straight straight b2 movie really enjoyable but it leaves you on a cliffhanger that literally sets up an entire third act that doesn't happen right she's like oh, i'm gonna go fight these people and she just doesn't go fight those people and it cuts the credits right it seems like they literally cut out an entire act of that movie that could have been in there you know, i don't know if that's marvel cutting it out or marvel being like hey we don't want this or the director being like hey i'm setting up another movie uh or kevin Feige coming in and be like hey uh i don't know it's just felt unfinished at the end right uh it was good enjoyable but pretty meh in my opinion right okay black panther i think i'm gonna put in i think i'd put in a tier it's not in my opinion not perfect there's a lot of cgi mistakes especially in the end fights uh there's some storyline things but i'm like mm -hmm, not a huge fan of especially when like killmonger becomes king I feel like there's so many different things they could have done better in that movie, but I still heavily enjoyed watching it. So, uh, that's why I put it in a B A tier. It's very enjoyable, pretty good movie, but not perfect. Not like S tier movie, right? There's just so many different things I think I would have changed. Uh, but overall, the storyline is really good. The actions, for the most part, are good. Uh, Michael B. Jordan plays his role amazing as Killmonger. Uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman's really good in the role. Uh, and it had a cultural impact that can't be ignored. And the movie wasn't very enjoyable. I, So that's kind of why I put an A tier. Uh, there's some minor things that, in my opinion, don't make it, don't make it an S tier movie. Uh... Event no, it's Spider Man, right? Yeah. So Spider Man Homecoming. I think I put an A tier movie. I have I heavily, heavily, heavily enjoyed it. But you know, this is he felt like Iron Man Junior in it and not much of a Spider Man, right? He didn't have that individuality yet. Uh but really enjoyed it. I mean it's a Spider Man movie, of course I'm gonna fucking enjoy it, it's Spider Man. But in Spider-Man Far From Home, S tier, right? We see we see Peter Parker become more of an individual himself. We see him have to deal with things by himself. And while there's still that Iron Man bit in there, I just oh, such a huge fan of the villain choice and the visuals in that movie are so spectacular. I mean, I sometimes will literally just watch that fight scene with uh, uh, Mysterio because it's so good. It's such a good fight scene. It's arguably 
one of the best fight scenes in the um, entire MCU. Especially like when he's like back in Alp, like and he gets hit by a train. That entire sequence is so good, and it leaves you in your edge of your seat the first time you watch it. And if you a subsequent time you watch it, which is why it's uh, honestly an S tier movie for me. It's one of the best in the MCU, undoubtedly, right? Now, this one might be a little controversial because most people put it in an A tier or a B tier, but I'm a huge fan of it. Doctor Strange, straight S tier. Uh, visuals are great. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Benedict, Benedict Cucumber <laughs> is really good in it. Uh, he plays a role amazingly. The visuals are great. The storyline's great. Uh, I love the movie. I could rewatch it any time, any day of the week, and still have the same levels of enjoyment in it. Uh, so yeah, it's just an S tier movie for me. Okay, now move on to the group movies. I'll do Guardians of Galaxy f first, right? Guardians of Galaxy one, uh, A tier movie for me. Uh, pretty good. Could uh, pretty. It's pretty fun. Uh, nothing that like perfect. Uh, but it was enjoyable and introduced a bunch of unknown heroes, which MCU is kind of known for. So it was kind of like a nice little like callback to, especially like Avengers, but in space type of situation. It was fun. Um, but my next take is very controversial if you're an MCU fan. Um, I'm putting Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two at a C at a B tier. Right? It's good, but it just was nowhere near how as good as the first one was, in my opinion. It was trash. It was dog trash for the first one. Right, the first one set the bar really high for me, and the second one's like, this isn't as good at all. Right, there was the storyline wasn't as good, the action wasn't as good, the comedy wasn't as good. It just seemed like they were riding the wave of the first one. That hopefully that we see in the third one doesn't happen, and they just create another mo good movie that doesn't have to ride the wave of the previous ones. People just say. Wow, this is really good because of the first one instead of this having a good movie, right? Okay, now we move on to Avengers movies. Avengers movies are some of the best in the entire MCU, right? So the best for last. Now, first one, I'll put it in B tier. Enjoyable, slightly above average. Um, Surround is pretty good, but felt a little weird. And then the villain, whole, the whole villain situation is kind of weird because it's like different villains during each part. So you're not really fully sure which villain is which. Um, but then you appreciate it more going on further on. But I'm basing on the first time viewing. And first time viewing was a little confusing sometimes. Whereas, uh, you know, Loki's a villain, but then Ice Giants are a thing too. But then uh, Thanos is introduced. And it's just this whole weird, convoluted who's the villain situation sometimes. I feel like so it's a good movie but definitely not as good as an SRA tier movie then it was Avengers this one is a straight D tier movie uh, sure we got Scarlet Witch but then we get fucking Quicksilver dying why does Quicksilver just die like they introduce <laughs> they introduce amazing character Quicksilver then MCU is like mm, no no, we don't get him. And just kill him. Right? For fucking Hawkeye. I'm a huge fan of Quicksilver, by the way. I love speedsters in any any and all uh, movies. But this one is just trash. Not good. D tier movie. I honestly think it's as bad as Captain America the Winter Soldier. Right? Now, Avengers Infinity War. I'm not going to put it in S. I'm going to put it A tier. Uh, the reason I put it A tier is because it's good, but it leaves it on a cliffhanger. Okay, now I'm saying, oh, well, that sets up Endgame pretty well. But I don't like movies with cliffhangers because we only had to wait an entire year or so to get Endgame. Right. Um, it's just, it's really good. We get a lot more team fighting. And it, obviously it diverts all your expectations of the heroes always win. Uh, and at least you're like, oh my god, they're all dead. But then you know, you know they're not going to die, right? Because they killed Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, 
they're not gonna limit it to just heroes right away. So it it really like the impact it try to have didn't have because you know all the movie deals are happening right. Uh, but the Spider-Man death scene deals I still kind of slightly tear up at it. It's really well done. Then last but not least, Avengers Endgame straight S tier game. S tier I'm S tier movie. It's so good. And within the first five ten minutes, they kill Thanos. They just go fucking kill Thanos. Like, what? This did that to get revenge on Thanos? And they're like, what's happening next? And they're always like, what's happening next? And then every single moment happens, you think, what's happening next? Because you don't know what's gonna happen next until the very end. You're like, oh my god, it all makes sense and it has some of the best fight scenes in my entire MCU. It's we see everyone at max power. It's arguably the best movie in the MCU so far. I love it. It's perfect in my opinion. It's I don't think anyone think can beat it from now. Right? And so this is my tier list, okay? Uh, can I save download? Okay. So I'll 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 full screen it for you guys. Give me a second. This thing is I have a frame. If it wants to open up, yeah, here we go. That's the Thundershot official tier list of MCU movies right there. Okay, this is non-negotiable. Uh, if you disagree, you're banned from the Discord. That I'm just kidding, you guys aren't banned. I need more content, and you guys might be involved in content with some day. <laughs> uh, okay, well, thank you guys for watching. Beats a boom.